where Auntie Miriam got her. Oh no, she's gonna go and get my nail bag. Come on, now. You wanna get out of there? It's all zipped away, so you won't be able to find anything. All this girl wants to do is stand. Yep. There we go. <laughs> she tries and she tries. Yep. She'll stand to do anything. Won't ya? She's been standing for longer and longer though. She's tired. Say night night. So we finally made the cart and ordered um, a playpen. What's this? Send the old playpen video for Ayla. Um, made order for the playpen and it's just arrived. Reasonably light, so despite my <gasps> faces. Yeah. It's good. It seems pack away because that's one thing we don't want to have it up all the time, so we want to be able to pack it away and still look decent. Da, 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 da. Her, she learnt saying dada this week, so all the time, da 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 da, da which has been nice because she's now nine months old and it's about time. All the time it's mum, mummy, mum, mum, mama. So she's finally saying dada. And she's climbing up on everything imaginable look at her she's rocking an afro shoot today because that's sometimes you just can't always have that stuff in her hair so i just wanted to be free look Whee! That was a long one. <laughs> love it yes the room's chaotic yes what i'm gonna do ayla's room about so it is what it is but we just got a delivery Ayla is, as she's been more mobile, she's just been calling about doing everything and I just can't even, like having a shower now, she calls up to the shower door where I could just leave on her play mat before and watch her through the camera monitor and she'll be fine just sitting in there or I'm in the kitchen, we should put like safety gate up but I'm in the kitchen, she comes round on my feet, it's everywhere, she's following us everywhere around the house and like even like doing chores, like it's just impossible, sometimes I'm literally carrying her with me. So we got her this little play gate station, whatever I'm gonna call it. And um, just come, so I'm just gonna unpack it with you guys and get it all set up and see how it all fits and how it all goes. So.
But I realised I didn't do is take out all her toys prior and now they're all in that cabinet. So now I need to push them and get the toys out. That was really quick, just put the balls down, sweating. Love this fan. I will put this in the description. This has been my ride or die. Sorry as I digress, but this has been my ride or die. During pregnancy, during the birth, after birth, holidays. There's one as well that you can clip onto the pram which we all need to get, but um, this you 100% need to get. We've got two because it came in that vital. I had them both on the go and each stands while I was in the hospital. This, however, I love, love, love. Love how easy it was to set up. Because she's just in there, I can just now go about my own business and do whatever. And um, keep her in there. It comes with this little door, which is so cute. So it comes with this little door. I'll just close her in. Hands. comes that little door and so far so good she's loving being in there i think because it's just like a new environment um sorry this up and down this is just a bit mad but um i think she loves it in there because it's like a new environment like she's just got all her, all her toys about i think it's close proximity to her so she's just she's just digging the vibe she's digging the vibe and i'm loving that like, i can just I know she's safe just in one place and all everything there. I've checked all her toys, nothing she can be harmed by or anything like that. Apart from her music set, which has got some sticks, but I haven't opened that so she can like use that. But when she does her music stuff, I'm with her. This is conked out, so I need to charge that. Um, lucky I've got another one on the go though. Um, but yeah, it's... I'm fully chuffed. I'm very, very chuffed. And just get yeah, easier, just pull open, pop, pop, pop. And then it's got like these little, that's like knobs on each of the little hinges and you get to lock it and loosen it so you can literally create it into whatever shape that you want. I'm just creating it, it's a bit, I, it's not even a shape right now but I've just created it for the space that it is in. Um, it's also got these little suction bits on the bottom so if you have got wooden floor you can easily suction it to the floor. We're just doing it on the rug right now so it's not really, this is where we intended to put it um, but otherwise if we do move it onto a wooden floor space then that's be great for that because it's got little suction cups at the bottom um which i think would be really great obviously kids are going to be right up against it it's good that you've got something that's firm but at this moment she's not that heavy enough to be pushing that load um so obviously if she gets older then we can maybe think about moving it around and whatever but so far so good i'm loving it Shy. I've got lock all of these in as well because she was just twizzling them open. But I think she's moaning a bit more right now because she's tired. So. I'm coming, darling. So it's about half eleven. I want to go soft play for our class. Put about three hours time, but I know she needs to go down for her nap. Which is why she's crying like this. Um, yes, darling. Or I'm thinking maybe just to skip it, go for a walk today because she just seems very really irritable. But I'll see how long she naps for, and then I think I'll just decide from then and then see how it goes. Uh, that that super sticker. Yeah. Super cool. Isn't it Lala? Super cool. Morning, Krusty. Um, we're getting one of our. Oops, sorry. Yeah, we're 
in one of our windows replaced because it had a crack in it. So the guys are just out there moving stuff about. So it's quite exciting, isn't it, Lala? He's just not really excited. But right now, she has a gap. In the hole. The window. Still gonna replace it, so. I don't know, it's like simple, but it's, I'm really excited. <laughs> So Ayla has been waving at random people, she doesn't even wave at me. It's the second person she waved at today. And she doesn't wave at me. But I just came from lunch with Rachel. So that was really, really nice. And so we're just having a walk about. Maraca, hold this. Go, girl. Shaky, shaky. He's come back from work. Yeah, he's coming. Are you gonna say hi, Daddy? Hi. hi. Look how long she's standing up. <laughs> oh, she was just waving at me and I didn't catch it. That's it. Pull yourself up again. That's it. <laughs> Apple Apple Ball Get the boost, get the boost, get the boost, get the boost. Let's go. Look, Lala, you get the boost. Let me put it in here. Go like that. Sorry. She's like, we get it. Hi. Oh, well done. You put it in the tunnel. Are you going to come to mommy? Are you going to come to mommy? That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, yeah. Come on, girl. Come. Yeah. That's it. That's a good girl. Hi, baby. Oh, we're climbing up. Hi, baby. Yes. Hi. Let's see how far she goes. Hello. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, what are you doing with her leg? What's she doing with her leg? Oh, she just can't make it through. That's it, come on. Oh, is it hard? You can't make it through. 
Oh, you can try again. Try again. You want mummy to help you? Yeah. Come. Yeah. Do you want mummy to help you? I mean, my girl's big. Yeah, 100% because she'll probably fit into this like next week. Yeah. So. <laughs> 100%. Oh, these are so cute, Jules. Oh, cute. <laughs> you were waiting for that. <laughs> Mum's not that. Mum's on the loose. Mum's on the loose. And she is snatched. I'm coming in with you. Oh, and it's a green man. How delightful. Is this the way to the water? Yeah, to the water. Oh, okay. You sounded so bad at it just then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that. Very setting, was it? <laughs> so we're actually out. But it's been well needed, you know. Like, this is like first night. Been out girls night and you know just need so to let loose exactly i've been drinking water and a bit of rosé rosé all day ayla rosé hey. see i'm trying to do you proud babe <laughs> 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 oh, but yeah we need this we are going this way darling this way yeah I am but um yeah, we're gonna we're going by the water. <laughs> Not water. Water bags. Water bags. <laughs> going by the water to have more chilling drinks and chilling and eating. We've been eating too, so they've been like spritzes too, isn't it? Spritzes. I think that's why it's been so much easier to drink. Water, water. water. we've had snacks. So I'm an experienced drinker, so I'll get her some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh wow, scooters. What's happening? So narrow. Oh my god. Oh, I can't breathe because I have this bloody girl thing on. I'm snatched. I'm so snatched. I'm going to look back at this footage and be like, you're crazy. Oh yeah. So yeah, we're just going to go and chill. Myself. You won't break my soul. <laughs> I'm telling everybody, 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 everybody. You won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. <laughs> She just calls about 
do whatever. It's an absolute shambles in there, but she loves it. See how she's like put all the cards out there. She shot that out a bit earlier, but yeah, there's different levels. She's just she's been in there for probably about half an hour now. She's having a good old time. It's perfect. She just got her own play area, her home play stuff, and I love it for her. I don't want her to see me, so she doesn't get distracted. That gives me time to watch my YouTube videos. <laughs> It's like a prison, I'm not sure. And, you know, all of that. Especially because you're a baby, it's the only thing that I have. <laughs> I just need a moment. <sighs> Sit somewhere different. I've changed up the living room because we just needed to expand the space a bit. And now, as Ayla Rose is literally crawling about, we've got this little stroller walker thing. It's actually packed right here got one of those you know what i mean so she's there now learning literally today and yesterday like last three days is like the most she's just been walking around and been able to like um and realize her legs more i think today is the, mo the most that she's realized her legs and because we've opened up space she's been walking around everywhere so she's just like we i needed to pick me up i just made me a little iced coffee but with no ice i don't have any ice who has ice i don't like really cold cold drinks like that Anyway, I digress. Um, so we've had to open up the space a bit. And to be honest, I haven't finished at all yet. But I just needed to sit down and kind of just have a moment. <laughs> I just went out as well. I got some new, so new cushions. They're nice feathered cushions. So they're just comfortable. I just wanted something different as well. Because we're just... It's a new space. I'm going to try and like just revamp. Because I still haven't finished the house, to be honest. So it's almost like a continuing to update and revamp type of vibe. So let's just see how that's going to go. But um, So yeah, she's getting big eyes. I just wanted to open up the space, give her more room to play. Um, I don't know if you saw like how the playpen was before um, and how the sofa was. It was just like it just took away the living room and then it just gave us like the alleyways off the apartment. So now with this, at least when she's got her play pen over there I can still be on the sofa there's still room for everyone to move about so I'll do like a, um I should have panned of what it looked like before but we literally was just like 
shall we just move to the sofa first of all it started off because we we're planning off her birthday so we we're just like oh how are we going to move the furniture and we lastly decided to be like let's just do it at home I'm like okay if we move the furniture around how would it look for making space for everyone and then i was like hmm shall we just move the sofa around and just change up the living room i feel like it needs to change i was like let's put it against this wall and see and then we're just like huh and i was just sticking so i'm just figuring out last little pieces and just where everything's got to go just tucking it about and just i just needed like a seamless um kind of movement for me also so just like cleaning up every day i just you just need to order of things once things have a home it's so much easier to just organize and keep things as they are and i'm just getting really organizational vibes i just want to get sorted we're going to sort the office i feel like the office always looks shambolic but we're sorting it <laughs> we're getting another unit for it um this bookshelf i'm gonna tidy that up just so that it looks less cluttered and i'm gonna kind of make it a bit more prettier looking just to kind of bit of books bit of objects just to make it just not look like that it just gives me like a headache every time i look so yeah i'm gonna try and sort that out and just kind of get this living space just looking like a living space instead of just like uh -uh. and i'm in that mood today i'm in that motivational mood to just get things done and i feel like when you're in that mood don't lose it just go along with it and get it done i also bought some new glasses um, I've been looking for like gin glasses as well so um, I just thought these look perfect and it goes with like the rest of the set that I have I've already got a set like this so these are like the previous sets that I had like this. and then I saw these I was like perfect gin glasses even though I'm not drinking now but it's for the future but I was like, oh, it already goes with like the crystal set I've already got. So I was like, let me just get that now. These so, oh, these cushions are so much more comfortable. So such a good purchase. Um, so yeah, I got those today. So today I'm just like organizing. I'm just oh, my little Ayla Rose nine months out now. Nine months. I'm gonna do a little nine months in, nine months out. I'll do a little picture. And just <sighs> can't believe it. Nine months. This girl, she was um so at her. As you've probably seen, I put. I think I've already put the clips in of her play group from Friday. She is just out and about. She just loves it. Like these play groups have been so so beneficial for her. Like I can't stress like. I think the earlier you do go with your kids, the better. We went probably when she was like four months. Um, and I think that's when I was just able to comfortably leave the house anyway, because it really took me a while to heal from my cesarean. And I'm still kind of healing. Um, got a situation now where my stomach's going over my stomach. I'm going to have to get my womb scanned. Um, yeah, I'm feeling okay. Like I'm able to move about and stuff, but something's just a bit off. So I just spoke to my GP and we're just gonna get that sorted out and get my blood work taken and stuff like that. So I'm praying everything comes back fine and everything's cool. But yeah, it's just everyone, it hits everyone so different. And sometimes it's weird, like not that I get envious, but I'm just like, oh, let's see other moms are just like, they're slapping back and just cracking on with life and they're getting their body back and exercising back again. And I really do miss exercising. like prior to covid like i was really avid gym goer so now just not being able to go and like my body just feels odd and even when i do go gym i can't go full throttle and, I, and obviously you know you need to like adjust to your body but it's just so weird like it's just as much as people tell you like no one tells you about the things that really still mentally affect you like after you have a baby and just like things you have to come to terms with like when you have a cesarean like there are things that your body's still gonna you know even there's there are things that are still just gonna be an issue for you um and there's some stuff to bear in mind some people can heal back perfectly and move on cracking with their life but there are certain things where you know like the scarring that you had i'm guessing mostly this will be for um black people because i know that we scar get keloids um, um more um, but yeah, you've got to take that consideration. I've got, um, a, it's prior to a keloid. I can't remember what the doctor called it. And I think I remember I told you guys about it. Um, so it's as much as like the section is healing the scar, but it's still, it's still quite tender. 
um like i massage it and i definitely noticed in my skin getting a bit more taunt that i'm massaging i'm also using this nivea firming lotion i'll show you guys and i i generally really do feel like it's made a difference on the texture of my skin and the, uh, the elasticity um so yeah i've been using this we bought this literally i think like a year and a half ago and it's been sitting in my cupboard because it, it's quite a loose cream which is really great for um which is really great for the summer because you don't really use a heavy cream but um i always use like the nivea like the blue bottle and that's quite nivea is quite a thick and heavy lotion so that's what i was used to using so when i was using that i was like oh this is so like light so we've just kept it and stored it in there and then i just kind of saw it and i was just like hmm firming firm within 10 days and to be honest after 10 days i did notice a, um, a difference on my skin obviously it's still <laughs> loosey goosey but you can notice like different things you know when you stand and you've got like the mummy crinkle on your belly button like um that that's just i can just notice that it's just the small differences that you notice and i think i'm just going to try and take a picture diary just to kind of see and show you guys like the differences that from the lotions and just generally just massaging that area and um, really really helps with um getting your skin a bit more taut so i'm you know that's just one thing that that you know that i'm just learning to get grips with and everything um just so yeah that that belly shelf really gets to you <laughs> Um, but yeah, but still mentally and just coming out of like mummy, this, not even coming out of mummy, but coming back into you, you kind of like, I feel like at this nine month stage, it's like you've come out of like baby head zone. I've had that fuzzy little bubble that you've been in and you're kind of like getting back to grips of life now. Cause it's like at this stage, you know, you've coming out of the baby bubbles much as long as she was in there cooking. So it's it's a weird kind of like way how it all just all links up but it definitely is a stage where i'm just like oh i'm feeling a bit of me back again you know i'm like okay let's just get this bit rolling kind of thing so yeah definitely it's been like a mental change for me physical changes i feel like gradually getting better but you know i'm still i still just can't push myself basically as much as i wanted to um but I'm just so proud of her. I can hear her just saying like little words as well. Like she's starting to wave her hands. Like the last two weeks was the first time like she waved her hand back at someone. And I was just like, oh, you didn't even wave it back at me. <laughs> but yeah, now she's waving and this walker, she's calling a lot, lot more stronger and faster. She follows me around the house now and it's just cute just hearing a little pat, 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 pat. <laughs> and then now I can see that she's walking like in no time she'll be walking. And I'm now starting to plan her first birthday. It was so funny because he was telling me last night, it's like, yeah, but you know, by one she'll be walking. And I'd be like, oh, she'll be walking before one. I was like, give her like a month and a half. He's like, yeah, the month and a half she'll be going to be one. I'm like, oh, gosh, she's like middle of July. And I'm like, obviously, I've got August and then half of September, like the 24th. It's kind of two months, isn't it? But oh, time's going past so quickly. But yeah, so I'm just starting to plan her birthday now. Like, obviously, we have to do it. Elmo's World, Sesame Street theme because that's literally what she's obsessed with. Like, I've put on loads of different types of shows, obviously loads of interactive learning type of little shows just to kind of see what her interest is, but Sesame Street gets it all the time. Elmo's World takes, knocks it out of the park every single time and she just loves it. It makes her smile. So I've got an itch. It makes her smile, like, it's just about it. So it just makes sense to do Elmo's World theme birthday and i'm gonna go crazy in here like so i'm just getting my um i'm just looking at the decoration pieces today in my little amazon trolley and it's gonna be i mean i'm so excited to decorate it and i cannot wait um i asked you i was like oh do you want me to tell you about it and i was like no surprise yeah <laughs> it's like it's gonna be sick and i'm so excited so yeah that's just soon so yeah she's just day by day she is just developing and you can just see how she's just grown so strongly and her hair this is a new thing now she doesn't really like her hair being washed so i've just bought today um well yesterday i just bought um yesterday off of amazon so we got this little shower cap thing so obviously that like blocks her um, all the shower all the water from her because she doesn't like it falling down in her face and she gets like she doesn't like it she starts crying every time i go back so i was like let's just put this this i feel is even going to be a struggle a bit more in her head as well but 
it's something i've got to do and i really need to wash her hair um so i just got that i also got hers finally i'm just gonna grab the stuff i got i got her new toothpaste so my sister said she's been using this it's like a chloride free toothpaste and that's kind of what i've been looking for and i've just been hearing obviously chloride is not really good for your kids and especially when you're like trying to brush their little teeth as long as young they're like trying not to let the kids swallow toothpaste i'm like she's nine months old of course she's gonna swallow it like she's got so um we've just got this um just a fluoride free childhood tooth like children's toothpaste uh, made from sweet fennels natural origins um so yeah there's loads of like different random ingredients but i'll put some of this um i'll put the link to it anyway to in my um description so if you guys want to check it out my system my system my sister swears by it. she's been using this for a good couple of years now her son is three so she's been using this she gets a subscription with the company as well but obviously don't really need toothpaste every single month like that because as a child they don't use that much um so yeah so i'm gonna get that see how that goes um for everything i put a link in my description by the way um also i got she needs some so we used to use that scalp um shampoo um but she really hasn't had any like what's the cradle cap scalp um shampoo description um we used to use that and she just literally got a little bit when she was younger just around here just a bit in the edges but you know how much thick had in we like see her scalp really so um we, we never i just never really had an issue with that with her and that was a preventative thing that we used that was the first thing that we used and the only shampoo we used on her hair nothing else um so since then it's been really fine um, but now since she's gonna do something else we found this company called child's farm um you can see these in asda but this is just a, a coco nourish shampoo for dry and curly hair which is ayla she has like the same texture hair as me um so this is suitable for sensitive skin dry skin and also safe for people who may be prone to eczema um so which is good because ayla sometimes just gets really dry skin and she gets really itchy back so this would just be perfect just for her hair and i just thought that would be great let's see how that works it also comes with a conditioner which look at the little girl <laughs> so cute um yeah this is a dry for curly hair and it's literally the same thing so i'm gonna try these out the first time i've seen this brand for a while on the shelves and i've just been like mm, i never really like read it and that's um so yeah i'm just gonna try this and see how her hair agrees with it oh, i love this moisturizer that i bought for her absolutely love aunt jackie's it's never been it's never been great for my hair like my hair just doesn't approve of it um but i got this dream kids obviously african pride african pride is like an underdog like it's one of the best products out there i really feel and they've got great product ranges and lines and everything so they're really expanded and my hair really really agrees with it and i don't know why i just didn't go for this but this makes the hair just so moisturized for day like for days um just moisturized so soft like yeah i'm just literally going to keep on rebuying this for her like her hair loves it um and i just do a little leave some olive oil just for her scalp now i was using some oil concoction that i made for my own hair because i didn't have any olive oil at the time and her scalp really needed something but i got some olive oil for her just today so i'm gonna use that for her scalp she really needs that and then but yeah those are like the big things that i'm using on a at the moment um so these are hair care products use a denman brush as well to comb her hair all the time that's just easy i think the tangle teaser she's starting to get a bit of fluff bits in her curls um so it's really hard for when i'm washing it so i may use a tangle teaser today when i'm washing her hair just so i can really fine comb them out because they're a lot more it's just a lot more fine tooth combier than the deadman and then the deadman can brush it out and she's just kind of like away with the face with deadman she doesn't really mind that it doesn't tug at her hair or anything like that so that is the probably the best um tool for her hair so then my brush 100 percent, absolutely love it um but yeah that's just everything with her and her update of her life and what's been going on she's just definitely you can see her personality coming through she knows what she likes what she doesn't like and you know like food wise she's just eating an array of different foods i go with this company um and i'll just let me see if i can oh, i think i might have gotten rid of the last packet and I know a lot of people say cook your own foods and stuff like that. And then some, I'm just not the type of person, like even with my own cooking style, sometimes I experiment, but I'm not that experimental of knowing stuff 
to do with food, if that makes sense, like even with our own adult food, so kids' food, it's even more. So Ella's Kitchen, they have a really, really great range of just all natural ingredients that they've put together and Illa Rose absolutely loves them. And I just get loads of different things. That's like chicken noodles and the lamb um, thing that she really, really loves at the moment. Those are like her favorites. Obviously chicken and lamb also my favorites, <laughs> but she loves it. She loves her fruits. Um, I'm gonna start getting her on like boiled, um, like apples and pears, like cause they're a bit more softer. And just for her to like chill on and stuff like that. So to kind of build that up because she's not on like solid, solid stuff like that. And I know a lot of babies may be a bit more, but she just has a really like reflex with gagging and choking, like with heavier food. So maybe it's because I'm not introducing them, but I am trying. But, um, you know, it's just a lot to overcome. So I've been trying, like she had the mashed potato every day and she like really chewed it, but she still just like just sucks it through like she doesn't go for the chewing stuff so like, i'm like literally going I'm, I'm i'm chewing with her so that's how we like the learning teacher on so because sometimes she's just not paying attention or anything so <sighs> that's probably been a struggle with feeding as well like i would like her on solids a lot more now but it's just that that whole choking thing with her it's just and I know maybe it happens to a lot of babies and there's something that they go through and they know how to react to it. But let me know if anyone's gone through that and if it's just so safe to go through anything. But for me, I'm just kind of like, I'm monitoring it the best way that I can and feel comfortable too as well. Because at the end of the day, like if anything does happen, I'm the person that's got to be there to help do anything, God forbid, you know. So it's just, I'm just kind of going things at my own pace. But also, I don't want to hold her back from not being able to eat certain foods just because... You know what I mean? So that's been like one thing with feeding that's been a bit of like a, for me. And sometimes I literally get anxiety like <laughs> while she's eating. But I'm trying to be calm, not show her it and just be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but um, when she's like all chewing like that. And I think she really just like, sometimes she senses certain things for me. She's just be like doing it with me to be like, yeah, I'm doing it, mommy. And I'm just like, my baby girl, my baby girl. Even when I was ill the other day, like, and I just needed to this KO and I just was like, in the playpen with her but i was just lying down and just being very she was just so good she's just playing softly all around me and playing with her toys and just being in her own little world doing her own little thing she's really good with independent play it's like if you give her the attention she needs when she's crying out for it she's cushy she's good to go so that's just her and i'm just really oh my baby girl i can't believe how big she's growing but i've been talking a lot but there was so much to update you on with her and just how she's progressing in life and She's just, Ayla Rose, you are my little angel and I love you so much. Mwah.